In order to quickly set up an Apple Earport Extreme, or in this case an Apple Time Capsule, you are going to need to first locate the Internet WAN port. Now using a network lead, you need to connect the WAN port to your internet modem. And using one of the three LAN ports, connect your Airport Extreme or your Time Capsule to your computer. Finally, we need to connect the power to our Airport Extreme or Time Capsule. We are now ready to begin configuring our device. From within OS X, we first need to search for the Airport Utility. This application is included on all new Apple Macintosh computers. Now you'll notice that the Airport Utility can see that we have an internet connection. It has also detected a new Airport Base Station. The Airport Utility will automatically gather information about our network. As you can see here, it has detected my time capsule and then offered up a network name for my time capsule and a base station name. We now need to enter a password for our time capsule. This password will be used not only to access the time capsule settings, but also it is used to connect devices to the wireless access point the time capsule will create. When we click next, the airport utility will attempt to configure the time capsule based on the information it's gathered about the network. Once the airport utility has completed the setup, we can click Done. We are now presented with a graphical representation of our home wireless network. We are also shown that there is an update available for our time capsule. If I click on the image of my time capsule, I am shown some basic information about the device. You can see that I can also update the device and, if needed, make changes to any of the device's settings. Finally, we need to make sure that we can connect our computer to the wireless access point we have created. First, we need to remove the network lead from the computer. We now need to switch the computer's Wi-Fi on and locate the wireless access point we have created. Now you'll notice that when I connect to my wireless access point, I'm not prompted to enter a password. This is because the airport utility has noted the password and is entering it for me. However, for any other device I wish to connect to my new wireless access point, I will have to provide a password.